Hi everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure, taking a quick look at Eddie Bauer's Guide Light Gloves. Guide Light Gloves are their lighter version of their Guide Glove. They're lightweight alpine glove that's made out of a combination of goat skin leather and a stretchable nylon. They're designed to be water resistant and provide you a lot of dexterity, the ability to move your fingers and work uh, while keeping your hands warm in the cold weather. Inside the lining is a combination of acrylic and merino wool which has the, all the wonderful benefits of merino wool and uh, synthetic fabrics. They've got the very soft um, and flexible goat skin leather on the palms and on the back of the hands in key areas where you're going to need it to insulate your fingers, give you great grip and protect you from the elements. It comes with a uh, nick wax treatment on the outside you have two webbing hooks on the, the major fingers here. Very low profile, you almost can't see it. Uh, great for hanging them on hooks when you're drying them out when you come in from a day on the trails or in the alpine. To get into the details, the shell is 90% nylon, 10% spandex. The lining on the inside is 70% acrylic and 30% merino wool. Um, if you watch my videos you know I love merino wool for all the benefits of insulation, the ability to keep your hands warm even if they do get wet, the fact that it's a natural fiber. The gloves have a suggested retail price of $80. Uh, when I last checked on the website, they're on sale. The Guy Light gloves are a lightweight, high-end alpine glove. The only criticism I have to do with these gloves is to do with the manufacturing. I look at these two gloves and if you, you notice that the, the width of the leather on the fingers is actually different. If I was to line them up, you could see that they actually are a different width. These ones on the right, my right hand ones are, are a lot narrower than the other ones. And I'm not sure why that is, but it's, it's very obvious when you line them up that uh, there is a big difference in the construction of those fingers. Having a narrow section of leather on the fingertips has created no noticeable uh, downsides. As far as performance goes, these gloves have been excellent for keeping my hands warm. Everything from the drive in to cold, damp weather like this. There's no loss of dexterity. There's really good uh, ability to move your fingers, hold on to things, and an accurate uh, hand uh, use as well, using a, a camera and, and things like that. The merino and acrylic lining on the inside does a really good job of keeping my hands warm in wet and cold weather as well. Overall, I really like these gloves. The $80 price tag is a bit steep. I understand for the use of the high quality uh, soft goat skin leather and for the use of merino wool that the price would be higher. I find that probably $80 is a bit higher than I would be happy paying if you brought it down 10 to $20 um, on the suggested retail price. I think that would be a more suitable level. That said, they do go on sale. So overall, these are still my go-to set of gloves. I do use them for all my outdoor activities now and even driving to work when my hands are cold. So they're really good all-round glove. They're great for active outdoors people that need finger dexterity. Love to hear your thoughts down below as always. Your feedback is appreciated. Thanks for your time and most importantly get outdoors and enjoy yourself with your family and friends.